Wokeism makes you lose, ruins your mind, and ruins you as a person. You become warped. You become demented. <laughs> Absolutely demented, dumb, distracted. We don't have the capacity to be woke and get the stuff done that we need to get done. We only have so much time in the day. You know the building that came down in Davenport, Iowa? I believe you can make the case that wokeism had a big role in this. So Sunday, it comes crumbling down. You've seen the building on the news, right? A big chunk of it. Now, a couple of things here. City officials were warned ahead of time that this building could come down imminently. And once it did come down, they looked for survivors, but not very hard. And basically, they wanted to call it a day less than a day later. Here's the mayor saying the very next day, Monday, that we're calling it quits as far as a search. The mayor says crews spent hours searching the wreckage overnight and have now stopped looking for survivors. Rescue is over. And now it's about recovery. Recovery and what are we doing with the building? And as of now, there's no one under there that you know about? That we know about. How concerned are you that that may change? There's always a concern. But we, uh, we're not rescuing anybody anymore. We're just going to knock the building over. What? I'm not an architect. I'm also not a search and rescue specialist. But I have seen on the news when they find people days, even weeks, after a building collapses, like, say, in an earthquake. Has this guy, the mayor, ever seen the news? More than a week after the deadly quake, there are still near miraculous reports of new survivors rescue. To the heroic rescues, 10 days after a devastating earthquake leveled parts of Turkey and Syria. Just today, a team pulled five members from a single family who were trapped for 129 hours. That's more than five days. Yeah, <laughs> you don't call it quits the next day. The mayor, his name is Mike Mastin, uh, he's a Democrat. He says he has some regrets, but he seemed pretty damn confident with his weak, let's give up plan, didn't he? And as of now, there's no one under there that you know about. That we know about. That we know about. There could be, but uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So here's the problem. I think local city officials, national officials, city officials, county officials, they all have to do this woke stuff. Uh, in the city of Davenport, they have a talent and inclusion administrator, whatever that means, a job that did not exist just a couple of years ago. Uh, I looked it up. The Black Lives Matter nonsense in 2020 and George Floyd's death. All right, there they are in Davenport, Iowa, uh, having a moment, everybody taking a knee, including, yeah, the mayor. Uh, Mike Mastin. Uh, yeah, all right. Great. You did some virtue signaling and you got a great website and I'm sure you got some pride stuff going on. But what about doing the things that you're supposed to do in government, the streets, the buildings, this sexuality and gender stuff? It is a total distraction. And we're going to see more of this. We another building came down in Connecticut today. Um, I think there's a connection. I really do. Uh, that building, people inside and they blew it off. Those people, their families, they were so ill-served, not served at all. Antoine Rabbit Smith Sr. says they still can't reach his aunt, who he says lived in the building. I just want some kind of information, like tell me something, anything. Like if you have found her and she's in a morgue somewhere, tell me something. Instead of just sitting here playing the waiting game. Do you feel the city is making every effort to find your dad? No, I don't think they're making any efforts at all. Like, I don't feel they've done anything to try to find him. There's still people out here, and their loved ones are missing. It's amazing. Government is so intent on changing society and making government bigger instead of serving citizens what they're supposed to do. These people are let down. I think wokeism is a big part of it, and we've got to dial it back right away. All right, now this. And it's clear we're all in a much more fiscally responsible course than the one I inherited when I took office four years ago. As Joe Biden just earlier this evening talking about the budget ceiling negotiations four years ago. Actually, it's two and a half years ago. Joe Biden is completely lost. We all know it physically, mentally, yet somehow he's running for reelection 
there are no, basically no uh, substantial Democrats running opposing him. I mean, where are the ambitious Democrats? Apparently, party discipline is so strong that everybody got the message. You don't run against Joe Biden. Why not? Where are the Democrats? The, it's happened before. Take a look at these numbers, please. Uh, how many people? 53% of Americans believe Joe Biden is corrupt. All right, the new uh, Harvard-Harris poll. Next, please. Uh, what, 62% of Americans believe Biden is unfit for office. And we have this, 58% of Democrats want a candidate other than Joe Biden. Yet the Democrat Party pretends that this is all normal. They're just going to run him for re-election.